Hope beats fear. Three, two, one. How can we stop making capitalism? I have five ideas to share with you, but admittedly only one sentence of certainty. To keep your attention, I have saved it till last. <laughs> Thing one. If we slow down, we may stop killing time. Let's stop rushing. As the urge to do something about capitalism tightens in our gut, let's not have a rapid, robust response. Instead, as often as we can, let's slow down, because to know what to do first, we must know where we are. When we move so fast, isn't movement all we know? If we slow, we won't begin to know what we know. I think, what do I think? I think this may be the first step to creating a life that is not acquired, consumed or styled, but present, authentic and inhabited, that feels like a foundation to build from. Thing two. Birds and electricity cables. Why don't birds die when they sit on electricity ca uh, cables? It turns out it's because while charged, they are not earthed. They touch, but they do not make a circuit. They are one with electricity, but they survive because they are not its conduit. Or the little ones aren't. Big birds fry all the time. <laughs> it's a dangerous game, but still it's possible. And so, could it not also be true for us? Can we be in this world and of it, but find ways to stop making circuits with capitalism? Thing three. To help, us work, um, to help us work that out, let's ask ourselves, what would Harry Potter do? Because Harry and Chums know a dark time when they see it, and they don't worry about depressing their friends at parties. <laughs> Hermione would not be fine to say the word capitalism in a social situation. No way. Those Hogwarts kids not only name their phone, they fight it, and they never give, give up, and neither do we. Any, actually, thing for sometimes we do give up. Because we all know we are at an apex where neo-capitalist fiscal insanity, zealous religiosity of all flavours, growing populations, peaking oil, disappearing water, biogenocide and climate change are building a holistic hellfire gauntlet that we will all at some point have to face. We all know this. We know it even if we're in denial. And it makes it hard not to give up and give into linguistic footsie instead of real conversation, nihilism instead of love, and self 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 selfism, and instead of all the one for one and all and all for one. So, despite this, thing five. Today we are here together via a flesh or interweb. Today we did not give up. We came. Today we are not killing time or making work we don't believe in. Today we are not working if you, uh, we are not worrying if you know that I know that you know that I'm a player too. Instead we're doing the unspeakable thing of slowly considering the word capitalism in public. We're not saying I'm too tired. We are not saying I just want a fucking laugh or actually no fuck. Okay, fuck I'm not laugh. Because everything else seems so pointless and fast and out there. Everything always over there. And if we had more time, because isn't over there always better? Hurry up, let's do this! That isn't us today. Today we are breathing in and out and time is with us. And because of this we may find it in our head and hearts to speak and feel a truth instead of our fear. And we may notice that in this space time morphs and an hour becomes a minute and a minute and an hour, ebbing and flowing to boy us, not to reprimand us. And flowing in this time, the things we do may become energised and real. We may find a new kindred spirit and we'll make plans with an old friend. We may. We may, may have a conversation that comes from love. We may change your mind or have ours change for us. We may find people and inspirations which lead us to make something new and true. And through this, we may, may find a strength to face the fear. Um, and perhaps that will be the time when our work stops making the circuit with capitalism. Because I think, what do I think? I think the power for good in fearless work is exponential. I think a thing done with love and truth and fearlessly, even if we're scared, shines three, two, one, brighter than all of our own brands. And in this way, we may make hope, which feels important. Since the only thing I'm certain of is this. 
There is no hope in capitalism. Thank you.